What's going on guys, Safe Wavy back in with some more GBO2 and we're going to be bringing out the Alex Gundam so this recently got a buff to his uh, beam rifle and the Alex Bazooka, I'm not going to be showcasing the Bazooka um, also got a buff to the Gatlin and we're going to be using the level 3 so the level 3 uh, beam rifle basically they basically increase the damage by 50 um, not really nothing crazy to be fair the Gatlin probably uh, got buffed the most um, I can't remember what it was at, before I level 3 but it's at 165 right now which is uh, it's better than the Tristans, so there is that. Um, they increased the power of uh, the focus fire as well with the beam rifle. So, all in all, like we're gonna get a little bit more DPS out of it, a little bit more damage. But let's see how it goes, man. Um, basically, I've been, I used to play this too quite a lot. Uh, the 450 specifically. Um, so I'm just like, yeah, I'm, you know, I know how to play this suit. Um, and I've always done good with it, you know. So now that it got buffed, it's probably going to be a little bit better in my hands compared to other people just because I've played it a lot of times um, so it's nothing brand new to me I mean I remember when this suit first came out and my days with this thing a problem there was a little stealth unit behind me this thing was literally kind of toxic double dodge roll like quick charging beam rifle and a gatlin that is DPS you down. Uh, it was super, super good back in the day, and it still, it still holds up. Um, I really don't feel like it needed a buff. Um, I get like apparently his win rate at 500 and 550 was not to the stand, uh, you know, to standard according to BB. But, you know, I didn't really, I didn't really see a problem with it, because I obviously have a lot of time with this suit, because this suit's been out for like, a year and a half, maybe? Like, it's been out for like, a long time, um, so, you know, maybe there's just people that are not good with it, and they're just tanking the win rate of it. And they're fighting, you know, Mark II Gundams and Betas, so it's, they're probably just losing to those type of suits. Because um, honestly, like, I feel like it can still hang, it could still hang before. Because I have played this suit um, during the, when the Mark II was about and the, um, the Beta. Trying to shoot pilots, but they're not showing their face. Um, yeah, so I didn't really, you know, have a problem fighting this. You just have to like, like kite them a little bit more and try and stay away from their effective range. You know, because obviously betas and Mark twos, they they thrive in close quarters. So. To the Alex actually is pretty good mid-range suit that can just keep the DPS up and that's basically what you do with this suit man just constant DPS man broke my legs and I didn't get a counter by that kind of thing. this game is acting funny this is why sometimes I'm hesitant to like counter sometimes man like you'll see it later on um, like I was just they hesitant to counter um, the um, the Night Seeker when he was uh, comboing. 
uh, because for what happens, sometimes my car just don't don't register. Like, even though why uh, it looks like it's on time on my end, but it's not on time on their end, and they get away with murder, and then I'm out of thrusters and then I die anyway. So sometimes I try to avoid those situations unless I 100% know I'm gonna get the car. Yeah, this suit, you know, I feel like it's, it didn't really need a buff, but I guess it did because a lot of people are bad with it. <laughs> I mean, that's what they did with the, um, the G3, like, you know, the G3 was good in the right person's hands, and then basically, you know, they buffed it, they gave it a dodge roll, and I mean, all I thought that it needed was the maneuver arm level 2 would uh, help it survive a little bit longer because it, it, uh, it was a little bit. Um, it, I mean, it's fragile because it's a raid without a dodge roll, so maneuver arm level 2 would have done wonders with it. Um, so they did go with that. But. Like, a later date, they eventually gave it a dodge roll. Like, yo, I'm like, bro, like, it doesn't need a dodge roll. Like, people that were already good with it were doing good with it anyway. But now they got a, now they got a dodge roll at the time, it was really super strong. Like, and the suit still can hold up, like, even till now. Um, maybe there was. You know, giving it a dodge roll mainly for the higher levels of uh, the suit because I think it goes up to 600 now. So you know, maybe it, maybe it does need a, a dodge roll at that cost, but at low cost, I don't know. It definitely didn't really need it. <laughs> um, but hey, they gave it to it anyway. So made it a super strong suit. But the Alex now? Like I I guess because there's a six hundred version of it now. So I guess they wanted to increase the damage output so when it got to the six hundred like it would be comfortable in dealing with what it's gotta deal with at that cross range, you know. Yeah, get a flash grenade by my own teammate. I was just gonna lay into his legs and then uh, try and re stun him and then down soon, but I got flashed by my own teammate. Uh, I don't know why they allowed flash to stun teammate. I just, it didn't do that before, like, why did they, why did they add that? <laughs> They want to give us more ways to like get um, kicked out the room, is it? Like, <laughs> yeah, this is where I didn't count. I was just basically watching the plant get murdered. Like, really. <laughs> I was like, I ain't counting, bro, because he could switch the web. Like, you know, I don't know when he was about to switch because I couldn't see around the plant. So, if I dived in and counted at the wrong time. I wouldn't have got a counter, right? So I didn't, I didn't counter in between. Just survive on 101 HP. And get myself out of there. But yeah, definitely. Like, did that seem like I was doing anything different to what I've done before? If you watch my old videos, I I literally didn't do much different. So, what do you guys think? You think you think they buffed it enough? Like me personally, I can't really feel it. I mean, the damage I can tell. Like the beam rifle with charge shot, like it definitely does uh, a nice chunk of damage, right? 
I mean, look at that, 2,512, uncharged, 1,300. Um, so, it definitely, it's definitely a lot better. Um, but, like, me personally, like, I can't tell too much, like, because I wasn't really doing nothing crazy, like, I weren't, I mean, I was doing, like, 213 damage a pop to this uh, Night Seeker, if I remember correctly, with the Gatling, which is, that's pretty huge, actually. So, I guess I do see it, but, you know, I was already doing good with the 450, so, like, to say that I wouldn't get this type of damage before it got buffed, is a maybe <laughs> or maybe not like but yeah to be fair like they they did it good they they did it good like I didn't think it needed a buff but I guess to help people that are not good with it like there you go guys <laughs> you know what I mean it's pretty good so yeah that is the game and I'll catch you guys in the next one God bless.